morning everyone welcome yeah. to another get healthy with me i'm absolutely loving this series and this is my third video in the series so i wanted to do not something different they're all kind of similar but this time it's all by myself jason flew away for work yesterday and yeah it's just me and this little guy now for the next week hey what are you doing? Do you want to say good morning? Why are you being crazy? <laughs> okay, he's just going to be, be crazy this morning. But yeah, so Jason flew out for work. And if you don't know, Jason's my husband. And Jason flies away for work every second week. It's really confusing. But literally, he goes away for work for eight days and he's home for six. So... He's currently away for those eight days. Today that I would do a get healthy with me. One, because I need to do grocery shopping. And two, I'm actually planning out the meals that I'm eating this week. So I thought it would be a good idea to share this with you guys. First of all, we have to go for a run because it's been a couple of days since I've gone for a run. Do not mind my child in the background. I don't know what he's had this morning because he literally has not had one bit of sugar yet. But yeah, I need to go for a run. So we're going to pop on my gym stuff. We're going to go grab the pram and we're going to go for a run with this guy. I've actually never gone for a run with him. So it'll be interesting to see how he goes. You want to what? I want to run in Tiger. You want to run with Tiger? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not taking Tiger and you. I, I, can only, I can only deal with one thing at a time. I'm not dealing with a pram, a child and a dog. Your blue shoes don't fit anymore. What? Oh, you've got them on back to front, Frederick. What? You've got your pants on back to front. <laughs> oh, you're so silly. <laughs> foot. Other foot. <laughs> Put your bum. Ah, that's better. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> One arm, two, oh, two arm. I'll go get your shoes because mommy's gonna go get changed. Yeah, go get your shoes because mommy needs to go get in her workout uniform and my cat is trying to get outside. Why does this happen? Every single time I am not in the lounge room, he tries to get outside this door. It annoys me all the time because I like having doors and windows open. Every single time they're open, he's like, I'm getting out. But, are you going to put those shoes on? Yeah, big shoes. Big white shoes? Yeah, big white shoes. Okay, go up on the bed and mummy will get ready and then I'll put your shoes on for you. Fairy finger, fairy finger, where are you? Day day, day day, yeah. So workout gear is on. I've got my Lana Jane attire on today. Let's just I show you. I've got my dress on. I've got my dress on. New dress. So this is the outfit I'm wearing today. I would show you in my long mirror, but that smashed the other day. So I can't do that. But this is my outfit. I've got some leggings on from Lana Jane. I've got a sports bra See, on from Lana Jane. And so here's my crop. Apparently, I love Lana Jane at the moment. I, I bought this, but I may want to crash. It did crash, didn't it? Are you ready to go for a run? Yeah, um, um I, I get the more mirror. Yes, we had to get another mirror done. So I finished getting it ready, and I've put a really cute outfit on. I actually love this outfit today. I've just put on my wide leg pants. Let's just move over here so you guys can see my outfit properly but yeah this is my outfit today so i've just got my wide leg pants on with the the slits on the legs and then i'm actually wearing a swimsuit but i'm wearing it as a a bodysuit today i'm actually really like we need to go grocery shopping today i need to write out my list so i've been writing out a few things that i need to get today so i need to get a lot of fruit i need to get a lot of veggies 
and I need to get things like milk and tofu and noodles and some cleaning products because my house really needs a clean and I've just realized we're running out of cleaning products so I'm gonna go get those today I also want to grab my phone and I want to go on Pinterest because Pinterest is my number one thing I look at for meal ideas so I do have a Pinterest page if anyone wants to know I will link it down below but I'm pretty sure you can just search Amy Donnellan and it comes up um, but anyway so I've got a folder here for vegan food and I'm just going to look at that and give me some ideas of some meals that I can make through the week. I've just already seen that there's falafels on here and I definitely want some falafels. So I'm going to get some falafels because falafels are just my favorite thing to eat at the moment. I might have tofu tomorrow because Frederick loves tofu. So we might do tofu and noodles tomorrow with avocado and like veggies. I, I actually love this at the moment. Oh, it didn't even come up. This, it's like crispy tofu with rice and beans. So we might do that instead of like my little chunky tofu. I might do a slab of tofu and pretend it's like fish. This is another meal I'm loving at the moment. It is lettuce cups. I've actually really been in, in love with them. They mum with a somewhat fussy child. I do have to plan our meals ahead. So if I have something like falafels and rice and veggies like I want to tonight, Frederick might not eat the falafels. Um, I do have to tell him they're round nuggets and he might eat them. But if he doesn't, then I have to top his plate up with other things like his green vegetables, avocado. He also has chickpeas on his plate. So if he doesn't want to eat the falafel, he will eat chickpeas. So kind of planning my meals. I also have to think about if Frederick's going to eat it or not. If he's not, then I make an alternative. If he will eat it, then I don't have to make an alternative. But sometimes I do have to make alternatives, but I don't mind because they're super easy. Like he doesn't like his veggies cooked. So I can just cut up a bunch of raw veggies and then place like tofu with it or he he has you know avocado or quinoa or whatever so he's he's pretty much really easy to feed but I just have to think really smart with what we have just because he is a little fussy let's get comfortable right now I have a feeling my camera is gonna die while I'm in the middle of this conversation but I think it's time I talk to you guys about this because me and Jason have talked about it and he's like, don't make an announcement video, just leave it, just carry on as yourself and if anyone picks up on it, just just like comment on it and just say yeah or whatever you want to say, but just don't make an announcement video. But I feel like as time has gone by, I feel like I'm lying to you guys more and more and I don't like that feeling. I don't, I don't classify myself as 100% vegan and I know this is going to disappoint so many of you and I don't want to. And I know so many of you will probably just like leave because of that, but it's so hard, especially when you have been calling yourself a vegan for the last year, but I, I don't feel like one. Um, there is times where I will have cheese and I don't have it very often, but there is times where I do have cheese. And there is times where I do have a little chocolate. Not very often, but I will have one. But I have these things very, very minimally. Very minimally. I can't even say that word. But at the point I'm calling myself 80% vegan, 20% vegetarian. It's why I've put plant based on our Instagram page. I don't know if anyone's noticed that, but doesn't say vegan anymore it says plant-based because I don't know I don't know how to categorize myself at the moment I know I'm not plant-based I know I eat processed food which plant-based people don't eat but I don't know how to categorize myself am I vegan am I vegetarian am I just a weirdo like I know some of you will be outstandingly supportive of me coming out and saying this but I know there's a fair few people that will be honestly so disappointed in me and 
Now, if you've if you're still here after that conversation, I thank you so much. I hope I haven't disappointed you. Um, I know a few people will be clicking out now and unsubscribing me, and I can see my numbers going down already because it happens a lot. So. I just want to say if you're still here after that conversation, thank you. I adore you all and I just, I don't want to disappoint any of you and I feel like, I feel like I'm disappointing so many already. So, I just want to say thank you if you're still here. Future Amy here. It has been two days now and it is Sunday and I'm currently at the end of editing this vlog videos get healthy with me and i realized that i didn't say goodbye to you all i've been editing this video and i've come to the end of it where i chat to you guys about my labels of my eating and i feel like if i said that i was vegetarian that eats very minimal animal products that would have been a better way to label myself other than label myself as 80% vegan 20% vegetarian but I still don't know how to label myself I feel like I should just stop labeling myself with how I eat it was a very hard thing for me to bring up because I just really didn't want to disappoint you guys so yeah we'll just see where this goes because I feel like my comments are going to be horrible after posting this. Anyway, I'm going to head off because I want to finish editing this. And I said I was going to finish editing today by 9 and I've got 10 minutes. I guess I'm going to head off and I will see you guys all in a couple of days. Bye.